Welcome to SVR IAS Academy. Come on India.com is our website. In this general science topic, you are going to learn about super moon. In the coming Monday, that is on 14th November 2016, super moon is going to occur after 70 years. We advise you to watch the super moon at night because you have to wait for a couple of years to watch the super moon again. In this background, let's discuss about super moon in detail because it can be asked in the prelims 2017 examination. So 14th November 2016, we are going to see the largest and brightest moon in the last 70 years. So what is super moon? Super moon is the brightest moon and the moon comes closest to the earth. So it is the closest moon and it is a full moon and coming closest to the earth since 1948. So people, you and me have to wait till 2034 to watch this super moon of this magnitude. So don't miss this opportunity to see the super moon on coming Monday. So in this image, you can see the super moon size. So it is the full moon and you can see the super moon size so much bigger than full moon and much brighter than full moon. These are the two peculiar features about super moon. Then what is super moon? If you take this as a earth and draw a elliptical orbit and here draw a moon. So moon orbits earth in its elliptical orbit. So there are two types. One is apogee and another one is perigee. So we will discuss about apogee and perigee in the later part of this video lecture. Super moon is the moon that comes very closer than full moon. Full moon is the moon which is close to the earth but super moon is a moon that comes very closer to the earth than Now let's discuss about perigee and apogee. Perigee is a point at which moon is closest to the earth. So perigee is the point at which moon is close to the earth. When moon comes closer to the earth, its size increases. So it is size increases means it appears bigger, brighter and closer. Apogee is the point at which moon is farthest from the earth. So in this image you can understand much better about Apogee and Perigee. Here earth is located. So Perigee is a point which is close to the earth. So here it is Apogee is the farthest from the earth. So you can see the elliptical orbit through which moon orbits our earth. What is the combined effect of sun and moon on the earth oceans that you already knowing that in our earlier video lecture, we covered about tides and its formation, impact of the moon on the formation of tides and so on. So when moon comes closer during full moon or super moon, tide becomes greatest. So during super moon, tides will be greatest when compared to full moon. So tide formed during super moon will be stronger than the tides formed during full moon. If we take the super moons of various times, all are not in the same size. What is the reason for that? The main reason is that shape of the ellipse is changing because of the push and full pull effects of the gravitational forces. So the ellipse shape is changing because of that moon is changing in its position. So how stretched out the ellipse 
is determining the size of the moon so super moon is the one it coincides with the very stretched out ellipse so it happened in 1948 and it will happen in the 14th november 2016 that's all about super moon and its definition what is full moon what is perigee and what is apogee this topic is important for the prelims 2017 examination so prepare thoroughly on this topic and all the best